there are many characters in The Flash, some very, very good, and some... Uh, so today, I compiled all the current actors in The Flash so we can review them together and put them in this beautiful, organized tier list, going all the way from Oscar-worthy to stop acting immediately. We'll look at each actor individually and find their happiest moments, their saddest moments, their serious moments. So here is every reoccurring Flash actor, and I guess first on the list is our main Grant Gustin. To be honest, guys, if you watch The Flash and you have, you know, two eyes like I do right here, you see them? Yeah? Yeah? You know he's a good actor. In the sad department, when his mother died, it was like truly like actually sad. Because to be honest, the realism of the scene kind of shows, you know? He's not overdoing the whole, oh my god, sadness. Like there's points in the scene where he's literally sitting there shocked. He can't even make a sound out of his mouth. It's crazy. And the way he delivers his dialogues, like the way he was screaming in the scene was mwah, mwah. Like it really showed he had like true revenge inside of him. Next, when looking at Grant's seriousness, it's actually really good. Let's look at when Grant played Savitar in the Savitar reveal 3 times 21 Grant changes the way he speaks, he talks in a very, you know, low tone, and it really does sound threatening. Especially the pacing of his words makes it a really dramatic scene. I wanted the pain to end, and that's when I realized the truth, Barry. God feels no pain. Now, when it comes to Grant's happiness, things aren't looking too happy. Get it? <laughs> Maybe it's the show's fault. I can just never think of a time when Barry has been genuinely happy in the show. But after doing some research, even in very happy scenes where Iris is returning, he saves Iris, he just cracks, like, you know, a happy smile, some giggles, hugs her, and that's it. Which is great. Good for him. But it's not like showing me anything Oscar worthy of a happy person. But I still do think he has a very good range. And some other honorable mentions is like when he came out of the Speed Force. I didn't do this, I didn't kill anyone. Can you hear the stars singing, rhyming, chiming, turning every hour, every minute? You said the city was safe. I hope you know he nailed that. He literally nailed that, okay? Wow, wow. So sure, he may not be able to be the best happy Oscar-worthy person, but I still do think that he deserves to be Oscar-worthy. Grant Gustin, you're officially an Oscar-worthy actor. You really made it, man. You made it. Next up, if we just zoom in right over there, we can see our next actor is Daniela Pena Baker, aka Caitlyn. Caitlyn is a very happy person. Wait, like way too happy. When do I not see her happy? I mean, besides like the last episode ending, that was that was kind of sad. Um, <laughs> uh, but besides when Barry's betraying her, she's usually a very happy person. So starting off with happiness, I think she does a pretty good job being happy. All her moments with Ronnie, she always has a nice smile, and her smile is actually really affectionate. And out of all the actors, I think she's one of the only actors that can truly like capture happiness and Caitlyn also has like that you know happy tone she knows how to be you know nice giggly -y. next let's be serious because Caitlyn has been pretty serious throughout the show as well ever since Caitlyn's main you know baby boo Ronnie died she's been you know very distant right after Ronnie's death Caitlyn had a very you know cold persona and I think the seriousness in her tone combined with the straight face combined with the dialogue gives a very serious person so I think we'll give her a pretty good mark on that but finally when we look at her angriness we don't know much the problem with being one type of character the whole time like a very happy giggly person it's very hard to imagine you on the opposite side of the spectrum pretend you steal Caitlyn's cookies like you go to the show and you steal a cookie from her what the heck is she gonna look like mad at you? Give it back to me! Give me my cookie, please! Like, I do not see her as an angry human being. Now, at the ending of episode 8x16, where Barry, you know, destroys her lab, she does look pretty threatening and rude at the end. So I definitely think there is potential of an angry person, but I just haven't seen it yet. But Kosho, she plays Killer Frost too, stupid! She plays him too! Ah, ah. I know, okay? I know. But I don't find Killer Frost that threatening. Maybe because the show is like spun her as like a threatening but funny character at the same time. All her witty jokes, all her witty comebacks, but I've never like really been threatened like oh my god that's a scary villain that's scary you know i don't feel threatened so unfortunately killer frost doesn't really help her case i'm, I'm sorry daniela you're a good actor we all know this but i don't see any reason to give you that oscar worthiness so we'll put you in Eh, you're, you're okay. Because yeah, I explained how she's a very happy person, but I don't see anything really out of the ordinary. Guys, just, just look at the bottom. Look who's next. Iris West. Oh my god. Now, as much as I can beat the heck out of Iris' character, literally beat her up, the person behind the character, Candace Payton, is actually a pretty good actor. Psych, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. She is actually a very good actor. To be honest, the proof is literally right here. The whole wave of Iris hate is actually kind of thanks to her. If you can act in a specific way where you have millions of people hate on you, you, my friend, are a great actor. Just keep that in mind, okay? Now, unlike Caitlyn's happiness, I think Iris doesn't do that good of a job being happy anymore. Like, seriously, I was researching for the video and she was doing a really good job being, you know, happy, magnetic from season one to like four. After that, 
I don't know what happened. It's legit like she turned into a new person. So many people make comments about how there's no more chemistry between Iris and Barry, and maybe it's because of her happiness. But when she's supposed to be happy, we get a generic smile, some laughs, some hugs, and then it's done. That's it. Where's the connection? Like, where am I getting connected to? I don't feel it! So for that reason, I don't pass the happiness. Now for the sadness, I think she does a very good job at it. Let's look at the instance when Iris and Barry were at marriage counseling. And how could you leave me? You left me, Barry. You just left me. Standing there alone. How could you do that? Like the way she just like exclaims it, it's so like, mwah, it's so nice. And then her silent pauses, the way she looks back at the front, it's it's really sad. Instantly, we can pass this, 100% it's a pass. And when looking at her seriousness, we can just look at when she was a mirror version of herself, right here. I'm done, Barry. Iris. I want you to get out. Please, okay, look, we can work through this. You're my home. Not anymore. Maybe it's the Karen inside of her, but she's a very good person at being rude. Like Daniela, Candace also has no trouble playing a straight face rude character. And when I first watched the scene where Iris is a mirror character, it was like a completely different Iris. So yes, I do think Candace can play a very, very good serious role as well. So Candace Payton, I think I would put you in amazing. You're definitely very good at what you do. It's just not completely there yet. Oh my God, Kosho, you, you, you put Candace above Daniela? Oh my God, oh my God, Iris is better than Caitlyn? <laughs> According to my research, all the hours I've put into the show, I do believe Candace is a better actor with more range. Yes. Also, if you made it this far and you haven't skipped through like some loser kids, you're actually a real supporter. I love you. Comment CW so I know who my real supporters are. Yeah. Next, we have the mother of the show, Cecile, aka Danielle Nicolette. Now, in my opinion, Nicolette plays a very important role in the show. She's kind of like the mother keeping everyone rooted, but I think her acting is a little bit of a letdown. My honest predictions, I think she's gonna land right in the meh. <laughs> but hey, let's talk about it. In the serious section, I think she actually very much shines. In episode 8 times 3 when she's arguing with Iris, it really portrays an angry woman. Her tone combined with her posture combined with her demeanor makes a really really dramatic serious scene. Hey man, you come in here and you want to shove his death in my face? When looking at sadness, you can look at 7 times 13. When Cecile is explaining her life story to Barry, she breaks down quite a bit. And while there are some good elements of pacing, tone, it's not the best. I was in court when I got the call. Tell me that doesn't sound like Kylie Jenner or someone like fake crying. It doesn't feel that real to me. Nicolette, you aren't the best at being happy. Maybe watch a few of my videos, you know, chin up a little bit, get happier, and then act, but I don't see happiness. Take episode four times three, for example, when Cecile tells her husband that she's literally pregnant. Now me, when I get pregnant, I'll be happy. I will be a very happy guy. Babe, I'm pregnant. It's a very happy moment, very touching moment. So why are you saying it like this, lady? I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Like, what? And besides that, we just see a few generic laughs like all the other characters. That's it. I don't see any real happiness. Cecile, you're a very good serious person. Scream at me more, mommy. Please. But... You're okay. You're an okay actor, okay? Sorry, mommy. Next up is Cisco Ramon. How many times are you guys gonna comment that I look like him? I actually don't see it. We don't have the same hair. I don't have a beard. I, 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 there's nothing there. But anyways, let's go deeper than Cisco Ramon and look at Carlos Waldos. <laughs> okay, I'm reading it again. That's, that's not the name. It's Carlos Waldez. Now, immediately, when I think of Carlos' acting, the number one thing I think of is the scene where Reverse Flash betrays him and stabs him in the heart. Like, that is generally one of the saddest scenes in the entire show, ever. Like, Ever. His crying ability is just mwah, out of this world. It's so good. He also doesn't overdo it like <clears throat> some of the other actors we'll see later. Immediately, sadness is checked. Now, when it comes to Carlos being serious, uh, we kind of have the same problem as Daniela. Remember when I said Daniela can't be angry because she's so used to being a happy girl? Well, Carlos is such a funny guy all the time, I can't take him seriously. Take this scene, for example, when he's arguing with Iris. Iris doesn't want to bring Barry back from the Speed Force. He does, blah, blah, blah. So an argument starts. Dude, what is your deal? It's like you don't even want him back. Maybe it's genuinely his voice, like the way he shouts. I just don't feel any seriousness. He's hitting the bare minimum levels. He's shouting at her. He's looking at her seriously, but I just don't see serious. Now, Kosho over here isn't an acting coach. He's a YouTuber. So I won't always be able to tell why something is not the way it is. Like in this instance, if you guys can tell, tell me why this doesn't look serious to me. But it doesn't look serious. So unfortunately, in the serious sector, he's... Nah, he's not there really. Now, Cisco doesn't have many deep relationships in the show, so it's hard to see happy, happy moment. Like, we've never seen him get engaged with anyone or deeply connected, so I can't really find the high, high point. But if we just manipulate it a bit and look at his funny sector, he has really good comedic timing. 
the reason a lot of the jokes work is the way he says them. Even when I'm making jokes for my videos, it really has to be like in the moment. You can't plan something. So for Carlos to be able to receive lines on paper and read them out loud in a funny comedic way is wow. Because yeah, sure, all the actors do it, but they don't do it to his level. Everything he says can be made into a funny meme. But the top of the tier list says Oscar worthy. I want you to think of someone that's a funny Oscar worthy character. We'll say it on three, okay? Three, two, one, Kevin Hart. Did we say the same person? Yeah? Yeah? No? No? Maybe? Okay, great. Kevin has it second nature. He does it so naturally that it just flows. And yes, I did say Cisco does it too, but he does it nowhere near to Kevin Hart's level. So thanks to this comparison, we can kind of see it's good, but it's not great. Cisco, you're very, very good at being sad. You aren't the best at being serious, and you're good at being funny. This is probably one of the hardest ones I have to pick. I'm not sure if he deserves to be amazing or if he's just okay. Because yeah, I see amazing in him, but I also just see that he's not there yet. Maybe it's because they pushed his funny character way too much so his other sides couldn't prosper, but personally, deep deep down, out of all the actors in the world, I couldn't give him amazing, so I think he's okay. You know what guys, screw it. I made a new category. I added good. I really do think he is a good actor. I can't say he's okay. I think the rest of them, yeah, they stay in okay, but I think he really does deserve to be good. So the next actor, he plays Joe West in the show and his real name is Jesse L. Martin. Also like Nicolette, he plays a very important role because he has like the father figure throughout the entire show. Let's just hope our daddy over here can act. Now I think Jesse does a great job at playing a serious role. In episode 8x5 when he's scolding Barry and Iris for wanting to not save Eubard, he really shows how to express himself as like a concerned father. You don't have a choice. Thon isn't giving us one. You always have a choice! The way Jesse brings his tone but like just to the perfect level so he screams like a father is mwah. And guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've always felt like Joe, whenever he's had like a pep talk with his kid, it's always felt like a real relationship to me. So I know his acting here was great. Next, if we dwell into Jesse's sadness in episode 6 times 4 he sort of breaks down with Barry for some reason and this is one of the realest scenes in the show. Like hands down watching this easily, easily one of the best cries in the entire show. The way he has that little tremble in his voice, the way he shakes his head looks down, it's wow. Guys, it's always those little things that really make you stand out as an actor and right here he does it well. So so far I think Jesse actually does a very good job at being serious, a very good job at being sad, but what about happy? When it comes to happiness, this is probably like one of the hardest ones to really act out. Because in my opinion, I think happiness has a lot to do with your own look. For example, Daniela playing Caitlyn already has a very happy, like cloudy look. Like when she smiles, I'm, guys I'm not kidding, it literally makes me melt. Like I wanna... Ha ha! And unfortunately, I just don't see that with him. Maybe because he's an older man, so it's harder for him to have that like happiness in him. But I can't recall a scene where he looks genuinely happy. And I'm like, wow, this is like it just makes me smile. Like I've never seen that. But yes, he does do a good job of it. You know, he has the nice classic smiles, the little giggles. He does it in a good way. It comes off natural. But I wouldn't call it anything spectacular. So Jesse Martin, you're really good at two of the categories. The third one, you're uh, not really there yet. But I definitely think he's one of the better actors. So I think uh, an amazing spot is. Mm, Perfect. Father like daughter, right? I guess that's that's kind of cute, right? I just noticed that get it Iris and like her dad Nobody cares. Okay, sorry Anyways, the next person on the list is our friend Jordan Fisher who plays Bart. To be fair, I don't even consider Bart and Nora like the main characters of the show. They're kind of just there, but they come in so much. I'm just like, whatever, just add them. Now, I'm pretty sure Jordan Fisher, besides playing Fortnite with Ninja, is basically known for his happiness. When he first got revealed, he had his whole little jumpy personality, so we can see that he plays a happy, charismatic guy. I think the way Jordan approaches Bart in like a lighthearted manner, the way he's all jumpy, goofy, really shows a really happy person. So I can confidently say he does a good job at being happy. Nothing like my beautiful Daniela and a baker but it's, it's good enough okay jordan we get it you're bar you're happy we get it but can you be sad ha, nope take this scene for example when he visits his father barry in a coma now sure it can be passed off as some you know good acting he's crying he's doing the basics but it's nothing spectacular for me i'm a complete failure no no you're not i failed but sure dude you're crying but i just mm. I, I, no, no, no. The realism in the cry just isn't there for me. It isn't, I'm sorry. So I'd say you do like a satisfactory to like good-ish level of being sad. Okay, maybe I was a little harsh, okay? In episode 7 times 17 he actually does a pretty good job at being sad. Like, this was actually some really good stuff. But now I don't get it. Like, sometimes he does a good job at it, sometimes he does a weird job at it. Like, what am I supposed to do now? I guess we can level it out and average it to saying he's a good person at being sad. Now, when it comes to being serious, I think he overdoes it just a little bit. If you look at this specific clip in episode 7 times 17 when Bart is telling Barry about his arch nemesis is a conversation that's serious and should be told in a serious manner, right? Tell me why he says it like this. Godspeed is my arch nemesis. Okay, he's my one big bad to rule them all. Then on top of that, he freaks out and then he looks away in like a serious way. Ooh, 
people shiver me timbers. I get what you're trying to do, but it's just way too much. So for those specific reasons and everything else I've seen, I don't really think he's a great person at being serious. Bart, you're good at being happy. You're good at being sad. You're not that good at being serious. Rather, I should say, Jordan, Jordan, you have great potential. I really think you can do really good things. But so far, I see a good actor. I don't see an amazing out of the world actor right now. So Jordan and Carlos, you guys can sit here, kiss, do whatever you want, but you guys are going to sit in the good category. Next up, we have Allegra right over here, also known as Kayla Compton. Not long ago, I made a TikTok video last year saying that this was the worst actor in the CW. It's been a very long time since then, so let's see if she's changed. First, let's start with happiness, because in my opinion, I think she is very, very good at being happy. You know how everyone says Iris and Barry have no chemistry, like none? Well, Allegra is a female that knows how to create chemistry. Like, be honest with me, have you guys not felt Allegra and Chester's chemistry? Look at these scenes, look how she looks at them. Allegra's actor Kayla knows just the right amount of, like, happiness, smile ratio, everything. Also, I think, guys, let's be real, this is my crush right now. Like, I'm not even kidding. This <laughs> <laughs> Ever since Patty left, I've had nobody to actually obsess over, but like low key, I'm kind of digging her. So, Kayla Compton, <laughs> what's up, babes? <laughs> I, I got like a YouTube channel, you know, 2K subs, you know what I'm saying? 2,000, you know? <laughs> you don't you don't care about 2,000 subs, okay. Next, when looking at her sadness, we can look at the scene where Allegra's cousin had died. <laughs> Something about like the way she screamed, or like maybe it was just like annoying to me. Something about it gave me the vibe of like a 12 year old girl screaming. Nevertheless, it was good enough. Now, when we look at Allegra being serious, there isn't much to look at. I think I found like maybe a couple pinpoint scenes that I can actually look at to examine it. For example, in episode 8 times 8 when Allegra is going crazy at some reporter, and I found this to be a really powerful scene. I am still your supervisor, so I'm hoping we can get past this. She clearly knows how to pace her words the way she widens her eyes when she says, okay, like it's great. So I personally think this is actually one of her strong suits. That scene is a lot more difficult to act than you think. Like watch me try to do it. So I hope we can move past this. Okay? See, it doesn't, it's not the same. Clearly, Kayla Compton, you won me over. I was too harsh on you. I don't think you're a bad actor anymore. But to say you're amazing or anything in that realm is a little bit of a stretch. You're definitely good at being charismatic, great at being serious, but I don't see anything out of the ordinary. So Kayla Compton, you are also a good actor. Next up, we have our friend Nora Allen, also known as Jessica Parker Kennedy. In episode 5 times 22, when Nora gets erased from existence, we see a very touching heartfelt scene. The way Nora calls out to her mom, the way she's like striking, she, the way she's like kind of scared. Rewatching the scene, I was genuinely impressed by her acting skills here. I think this is some amazing sad skills, but once again, I don't think this is like Oscar worthy, like, oh, oh, I don't think it's anything like that, but it's still very good. Nora is rarely serious throughout the show, but in episode 5 times 7, when she's talking to Barry, she does get serious. And to me, it's really not that good. Come on, think about it. Are you not the only hero? Let the others protect the world. You don't have to keep sacrificing yourself. I feel like her voice doesn't have that force in it. You know when an actor like says something, they mean it with authority. They're like, do this now. She doesn't have that. This scene right here gave off way too much like, little girl, daddy, don't leave me, please. Oh. Okay, guys, I literally researched for 30 plus minutes right now, trying to find a moment when she's happy. And besides some little smiles and happiness, little things here and there, I don't see anything. Episode 5 times 1, when she first ever enters the show, she's smiling, great, happy. An episode in Supergirl, when there was a crossover, she's smiling, she's happy, great. But none of this is touching my core. None of this is speaking out to me. I don't care if you can smile with your teeth and make a fake little baby voice. I don't care. Maybe I'm the problem. Maybe I'm expecting too much after seeing what all these other beautiful actors like Daniela can do, but none of these little smiles, giggles excite me at all. She can't portray happiness in a natural way. I don't care. Nora, aka Jessica Parker, you are phenomenal at being sad. Really good. Trash at having serious conversations and trash at being happy. Okay, maybe trash is a little harsh, but I just personally think this does need a little bit of improvement. So Nora, you're going to be the first person ever to enter the needs improvement section. Sorry, Nora, baby. Guys, if you look down to the left, there's only two people left. Oh, oh my god. What the? Did that just rhyme? <laughs> but yeah, we have Chester P and we have Eu Barthon. This is gonna be fun. Chester, Chester, Chester. Chester is literally a guy that is always smiling, walking around like a robot, literally no emotions except smile. But I was able to pinpoint one scene in episode eight times nine where Chester actually gets serious. No. No, I'm gonna stay here. You're not my dad. So why don't you just go to hell? Oh my god, okay. Now that is what I mean by asserting your point. In the heat of the moment, that is a very assertive way of saying things. Instantly, we can say he is pretty good at being serious when given the opportunity. Besides that, there's literally points in the show, like episode 6 times 13, where Barry is literally arguing with Chester and he just walks away like this. You're not on the team, Chester. Yeah, totally. Uh, I guess I'll cross the whole superhero tech support 
of my list of career possibilities. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if you'll excuse moi, I'm jitters bound. Just walk away and smile. Great. <laughs> yeah. But when looking at his sadness, I guess we can go back to episode 8 times 9 and rewind just a little bit. My dad. He never asked me to turn my back on my life here. The way he delivers his dialogue, the way his voice kind of cracks when he talks, there's definitely something there in the sad department. I just haven't seen enough. When it comes to happiness, Chester is way too much smiley. He's always smiling, which kind of takes away from the speciality of being happy. So for that reason, nothing about his little generic smiles makes me impressed at all. And guys, I get it. Okay, you don't have to say, oh my god, Kosho, your review about Chester was so small. I have nothing to base this off of. Chester doesn't do anything. He sits down, he smiles, and he does his Twitch streaming. That's it. Chester, aka Brandon McKnight. You don't give off much real emotion in the show, so it's hard to dictate what your acting skills are. Ew, why do I sound like a nerd? Ew, dictate? Ew, shut the hell up. So Chester, as of right now, I think you're okay. I don't see anything crazy. I can't say you're good because I don't see much. I'm sorry. But with that being said, look in the bottom left. One more person. It's our man, Eubard Thawne. Now, Eubard Thawne, aka Tom Kavana, is a veteran in the show. He has been here since season one, day one, and he has been going crazy. But I have a bone to pick with CW. If you guys have watched The Flash, you guys will know recently in the show, they've done him really, really wrong. Recently, they've made Tom say some stupid stupid lines that he would never say as Eobard. Bottom line is I think they've ruined his character just a little in the new season so I'm gonna be rating him off of his older season appearances. Also by the way if you want like an example of what I'm trying to say take this. I won! I finally won! Who's faster now? Eubard would never really scream, I win! <laughs> He's more of like the silent, deadly approach guy. But anyway, sorry, I just I just had to say it. I just hate that they're ruining him. Tom Kavana is easily, zoom in on me, easily the best serious actor. And I don't just mean out of the flash, I mean out of everyone in the CW. Easily. Why did you kill my mother? Because I hate you. I think the number one reason he's good at being serious is the way he talks. Have you noticed he always has like a little rasp in his voice and he goes really, really low? It's literally almost like a whisper. And then you combine that with some scary dialogue and some threatening music and it really makes a dark, scary scene. Tom is also really good with body language. He moves around really calculated and he has really good pacing in the way he talks. Like you'll never see him try to rush out a word. He will be slow with it, which makes it that much scarier. So easily we can give a really big check mark in Tom Kavanaugh being serious. Okay, so the next two categories are actually very hard for me to judge. Because as you know, Eubard is a very like serious character. He never shows really high happiness. He never shows really low sadness. So how the heck do you guys want me to judge this? Like, how do I do this? We judge it by using the man HR. Because not only is HR a character played by Tom Kavana, he's also a very happy and sad character. Let's take sadness first. In the Flash episode 3 times 23 when Eris... In the Flash episode 3 times 23 when HR dies, he looks like this. I couldn't be a coward. He's still using the low raspy voice thing, but it's working really well. And the way he cries is actually very, very sad. Because of this, I definitely pass him as a good sad actor. And finally, when we look at happiness, guys, let me explain something. The amount of skill you need to become a polar opposite of your OG character is crazy. How can you play a character like HR that is funny, humorous, and also play you, Bart, who's crazy serious? And let's face it, we all find HR humorous. Whether it's his contagious laugh, <laughs> whether it's his funny body language, he's funny. If this was someone in your classroom, this would be the class clown. So once again, I think Tom Tom Kavana does a great job at also being a happy, funny individual. Tom, you are a great actor all around. Every single one of the categories you passed. You'll have an Oscar in your hands very soon, sweetheart. Very, very soon. Because you're going in Oscar worthy as well. This right here is the final tier list of every single Flash actor. Pause it, look it over, do whatever you want. Grant Gustin, Tom Kavana, you easily both deserve your Oscar worthy titles. You guys are easily the best in the show. Easy. The little girl down there, let's not talk about her. 